क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी एट कंसिडर ए यूनिटी फीडबैक सिस्टम हूज ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज जी ऑफ एस इज इक्वल टू के बाई एस इन टू एस स्क्वायर प्लस टू एस प्लस टू द नाइक विस्ट प्लॉट इज मेनी ऑफ द पीपल वे बी अप्राइड ऑफ दिस नाइक विस्ट प्लॉट बट इट इज़ वेरी सिंपल सो आई कैन टीच यू इन एन ईजी वे ओके लेट एस सी हाउ टू प्लॉट ए नाइक विस्ट प्लॉट इट्स वेरी सिंपल सो वॉट यू नीड टू टेक इज ऑलवेज you need to consider whenever you are doing a nyquist plot or you are doing a polar plot see if you know how to plot a polar plot nyquist plot is just one more step ahead of it so let us try to compute first the polar plot if you know the polar plot nyquist plot is just you need to add one more step i'll tell you that then you'll get the answer fine whenever you are doing nyquist plot or polar plot or when you like to calculate gain margin or phase margin always you need to consider open loop transfer function but not the closed loop transfer function please take care that whenever you are finding polar plot polar plot nyquist plot then gain margin phase margin all these conditions okay for this all this you need to consider open loop transfer function fine now let us see still more, more are there like uh, root locus all for root locus also you need to consider open loop transfer function like that okay so let me go to this problem first so consider i have considered this open loop transfer function fine i have considered as it is then i converted from s domain to omega domain so replaced s with j omega simply i replace s with j omega j omega whole square is nothing but minus omega square 2 into s is nothing but 2 into j omega 2 i have written as it is then i made real parts one side imaginary parts other side this is a real part this is a imaginary part now you take the magnitude and phase that is a important step so very simple it hardly takes 1 minute to do this question magnitude magnitude is nothing but k by what is the magnitude of j omega it's nothing but omega under root what is the magnitude of a plus a plus j beta it's nothing but under root a square plus b square it's all very simple i think i need not explain under root 2 minus uh, omega square whole square this like a this like b okay a square plus b square 2 omega whole square fine this is the magnitude plot now let us see magnitude expression now phase expression is it's nothing but minus 90 because 1j in the denominator indicates minus 90 then minus of tan inverse imaginary part is nothing but 2 omega divided by 2 minus omega square fine now i think you understood this let me erase yeah so now you got what is a magnitude plot and what is a phase plot i think there is no doubt in this how to get this after getting you need to plot the nyquist plot before that i already told first we'll go for this is not a uh, nyquist plot actually we'll go for first polar plot this is not a nyquist plot we are doing what is known as polar plot polar plot then you can see omega you substitute different values only two values you substitute one is zero one is infinity if you substitute zero in the magnitude in the magnitude you put zero omega zero what you're going to k by zero into something blah 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 so anything by zero is infinity so i got magnitude as infinity then phase i'll see minus 90 minus tan inverse 2 into zero is nothing but zero by anything anything by zero okay zero by anything is zero tan zero is zero so you can remove this term so minus 90 you are going to get hence i wrote this i hope this is clear now let us see the magnitude and phase for infinity okay let us see that i hope you understood how we got this this is done let us see for infinity k by infinity into something anything into infinity is infinity anything uh, k by infinity is nothing but zero i hope you understood how we got this so magnitude is zero anything by infinity is zero now let us see this is very very important please don't neglect this just look at me so look at the board so this is very important what i am teaching now minus 90 minus tan inverse because of this you will choose option a or you will get a 50 50 between option a and b you will choose the wrong choice because if you don't understand this step 2 into infinity is nothing but infinity divided by 2 minus infinity square is minus infinity so finally you will say like m minus 90 tan inverse minus infinity tan inverse minus infinity is minus 90 you will say so minus 
minus of minus 90 will say then minus 90 plus 90 will say so finally we'll say answer is 0 degrees which is absolutely wrong so what is the right thing then you may ask okay I'll explain you see I'll, I'll show you the mistake also see this is not the correct way up to this it's okay fine see the numerator see whenever there is a plus j beta what is magnitude magnitude is nothing but under root a square plus b square what is phase phase is nothing but tan inverse b by a imaginary part by real part provided b and a must be greater than zero fine so here you will see here this like imaginary part this is greater than zero it's positive it is less than zero then it is not correct okay it's not correct then what it should be means it should be I'll tell you various four diagrams I'll show you see a plus j beta here if the point lies here means a greater than 0 b greater than 0 example 1 plus j2 in this case the phase is tan inverse b by a what you are telling generally okay this is very 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 important okay very very I'm stressing a lot okay then if you go to this coordinate x is negative and y is positive a minus a plus j beta then in this case it is pi minus or 180 minus tan inverse b by a the phase is if it is in this format okay examples are minus 1 plus j2 okay so this is a phase so if both are negative minus a minus j b then in that case the phase is the example also i'll give minus 1 minus j2 the exam phase is minus tan inverse minus tan inverse b by a it's minus tan inverse so phi is nothing but minus tan inverse b by a so fourth quadrant so a is positive and uh, b is negative example is 1 minus j2 in that case phase is phi is nothing but minus tan inverse b by a then this i made mistake this is nothing but pi plus this is 180 plus pi plus tan inverse b by a please try to correct this this is 180 minus this is 180 plus this tan inverse this minus tan inverse please try to remember this four values of phase calculation in four different coordinate uh, quadrants okay so here you can see x is positive y is negative it belongs to which quadrant uh, sorry y is positive and x is negative it's like in it is in the form see this numerator indicates imaginary part right so this indicates uh, denominator part it's like minus a plus j b yes or no so this is in second quadrant for this what is phase phase is nothing but pi minus tan inverse b by a this is the correct one so what you need to add extra what you are doing this correct this is correct this is correct up to this it's correct fine so this is incorrect so finally what you are going to get is minus 90 minus tan inverse this is infinity sorry just let me correct this because you are going to get that you need to make a correction it's nothing but pi minus tan inverse infinity by minus infinity so minus 90 minus pi plus tan inverse of minus infinity so minus 90 minus 180 how much minus 270 mm, looks like I made a mistake just a second so tan inverse of minus infinity you'll call it as minus 90 and this again one second is also wrong answer so this is also not correct why it is not correct now you may get a doubt okay I'll explain you here it is infinity by infinity form yes or no infinity by infinity form how can you find any tan inverse of that it is irrelevant okay infinity by infinity I wrote it as infinity which is not correct 
so how to do this correctly now i'm going to explain you these are all our wrong methods what we did till now so let us see that i mean those four quadrants methods are correct only okay so let us see this so this is nothing but minus 90 minus tan inverse 2 omega by 2 minus omega square here omega is tending to infinity right so what i am doing is as you already know when you substitute this as infinity the imaginary part is getting positive this is getting negative right so this is positive this is negative it's like this is x this is y x is negative y is positive it is in second quadrant right so second quadrant means definitely it should be 180 minus whatever the answer you're getting tan inverse 2 omega by 2 minus omega square now it, it makes the sense yes or no because this is positive this is negative i need to add some extra punishment that i added that is fine understood now minus 90 minus 180 min plus tan inverse 2 omega by 2 minus omega square o where see everywhere you should write omega is equal to infinity at omega equal to infinity here also omega equal to infinity right so this yields to minus 270 plus tan inverse see infinity by infinity form you'll get if you substitute infinity infinity by minus infinity so what i'll do i'll divide numerator and denominator with omega square i'm dividing okay let me see what i'm going to get so let me keep this aside okay I'm, it's a continuation so what i'm going to get is minus 270 plus tan inverse uh, it's nothing but 2 omega by omega square you're going to get 2 by omega 2 by omega divided by 2 by omega square i'm splitting minus 1 so minus 270 plus tan inverse now you substitute omega equal to infinity 2 by infinity is nothing but 0 by 2 by infinity square it's again 0 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so you can see here still it's x positive to 180 i already added that punishment minus 180 already i added no need to add again so tan inverse 0 is nothing but 0 now you can 0 divided by minus 1 it's a uh, definite term it's not an indefinite indeterminate uh, indeterminate form it's a determinate form so 0 by minus 1 is 0 so the angle is minus 270 this is very very crucial and important to find how we got minus 270 fine so in this way we got it as minus 270 now let us plot the polar plot so let me open the axis okay i have opened the axis this is zero degrees this is minus 90 this is minus 180 this is minus 270 fine at minus 90 you have you can see at minus 90 the magnitude is infinity so infinity i cannot represent so i represent with some straight line parallel to infinity axis i mean parallel to this minus 90 axis negative y axis okay there it will not plot it will meet at infinity okay then at minus 270 it will it will touch the origin means it will make it will make zero it will the magnitude is zero means this will become this will draw this will finally collapse with origin it should collapse with origin means the magnitude will become zero finally from minus infinity from our minus infinity it travels so that the angle should be minus 270 it should not be at minus if i plot something like this it's like i am making this curve to be zero at minus 180 it is not correct so it should be at minus 270 so it should be elevated and it should be at here so this indicates it's in this quadrant so it is touching from minus 270 fine you have understood this i'll draw neatly so it should be something like this so it will meet at infinity now this is a polar plot the direction is from like this zero omega equal to zero here is omega equal to infinity finally now after you got the polar plot what you need to do is just you need to do the mirror image with respect to x-axis with respect to x-axis just do the mirror image 
means you need to do like this okay this for this axis it will be parallel okay after you do this then what you need to do is check how many what is the type of the system type is nothing but number of holes at origin you can see the transfer function there is one s term what is the power of s it is one so if it is some transfer function it will be like s power n indicates n type the type is n this indicates type i already discussed in some video so the type of the system is one so how the in, in depending upon the type of the system you need to make the half circles you need to what you are doing is the red color which i am indicating with dotted line that indicates the nyquist uh, nyquist plot polar plot is only blue one that is done so nyquist plot is first you need to make the mirror image with respect to x axis then post that what you need to do is you need to make the half circles now i'm making the half circles from this point from the edge of this mirror image to the start of the original image so i'm making the half circle from the tail of the mirror image this is a final point of the mirror image from this you need to draw and half circle semicircle until it reaches the starting point of the initial one this is a starting point right where i started the graph so from the edge of this from the final point of the mirror image to the starting point of the original image if you draw a half circle then this indicates the nyquist plot this is step one you need to make the mirror image from the end of the mirror image to starting point of the original image if you make the half circle if there is if the type of the system is two then you need to make two half circles based on that so this will give the nyquist plot you can check the options i think option b is matching yeah option b is matching the half circle is one so and also that diagram will look similar to this so option b is the right choice if you have any queries based on this nyquist plot and polar plot please post them in the comment box and subscribe the channel for getting more updates thank you